Thank you for choosing RDI's Excalibur Railing System. RDI's Steel Excalibur Railing System provides beauty, safety, and security to your home, while the extensive warranty means quality you can depend on for years to come. Your RDI Excalibur panels are pre-assembled and factory welded with the level brackets pre-attached, so installation is fast and easy with this easy-to-follow video. First, determine the desired rail placement. Make sure sufficient mounting structure exists in areas to receive posts. Plumb the posts using the shims provided and secure all posts in place. While Excalibur post kits do include leveling shims and rail panel attachment hardware, post mounting hardware is sold separately. Next, we're going to size the rail panel. Place your pre-assembled rail panel across the space between your posts. Be sure to have equal baluster spacing at each end. Mark each end of the rail panel one quarter inch from post face to allow for bracket or weld clearance. Cut the rail panel to fit. We recommend using a jigsaw with the RDI cutting jig available through your Excalibur dealer, although you can use any metal cutting saw. Next, test fit the rail panel. Once a proper fit is ensured, paint all cuts to prevent rust where the protective factory baked finish has been cut before the final installation. Set the rail panel in place. Secure with the supplied attachment hardware. Place a bracket cover over the rail next to the bracket and slide the bracket cover toward the post until it snaps into place. Assemble the two-piece post trim cover by inserting one fastener into each trim half. Snap the halves together around the post, concealing the post flange. Next, let's install a stair section. Place a plank on the stair noses spanning from post to post. Place the stair panel on the plank across the opening and adjust for plumb, ensuring equal baluster spacing at each end. Clamp the panel in place at this location. Next, you'll need to assemble a stair mounting bracket. Attach the bracket by placing the angled end of the bracket against the post face in line with your stair panel. Mark the rail at these locations and repeat for all four rail ends. To make things easier later, label the top end of the top rail before removing it. Add 7 8 of an inch toward the rail end at the post. Cut the panel at these marks. Paint all cuts to prevent rust where the protective factory baked finish has been cut before your final installation. Reinsert the panel into the brackets and secure in place using the supplied self-tapping panel attachment screws through the pre-drilled bracket holes. Install the post half of each mounting bracket at the marks that you made earlier in the installation. Be sure that all your brackets are properly oriented. Now, set the panel back into place and reattach the bracket halves. Assemble the two-piece post trim cover by inserting one fastener into each trim half. Snap the halves together around the post, concealing the post flange. Thanks for watching our video and for purchasing RDI products. Please visit us on www.rdirail.com for more valuable information and other fine RDI products.